hand off. His hand was in, in Jimmy Fredette's chest. That's not where his eyes are. The hand's got to be up high, especially the long arm of Tony Snell. There still fumbles, saves. And Gary now, the poise to settle it down. It's great to have a guy like him, Ted, especially in these kind of situations late in the year. And he has played spectacularly late in the year. Ball screen, Hardiman. Tough Gary shot, he made it. Wow. Step back. That's what makes the separation that allows him to get that shot off. Now, that was on Gary, but he got that off on Snell, who's 6 yes. 7 before. Now, Gary, he splits a double team there, and Darius Gary finishes. By the way, with people on him, got I'm sorry. Come Jimmer on, Jimmer. Fredette. This is the first half, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. And Jimmer Fredette has 31 points in the first half, and he's not been to the foul line. And he's actually missed five shots. Gary answers, and here's where the New Mexico. Reese Gary, gonna try for a two for one here. Now, yeah, probably won't get the two for one, but Coke. Jesse Carr getting offensive minded as he gets in the lane to get the two, and the Rams have the lead. Therese Gary into the paint. Basket's good. Therese Gary of the year, second team all-conference, and you could have made a pretty good case he should have been first team all-conference. Uh, and it's not just him feeling comfortable. His teammates know exactly what to expect from him now. Gary, tough shot, gets it to go. Again, demonstrating that physical and they can clear that defensive board. How about those clutch free throws from Wes Eichmeyer in this moment with all these Lobo fans here at the Thomas and Max Center? And again, this is Jerry Scary time typically for the Lobos and Dorian Green face guard, but he still gets in on cue and makes the game the foul. That UNLV win, it will be an Air Force number six seed. So win or lose, the Falcons cannot change their position. The sign you want, the agent you need, thanks to Remax for those out of town scores. I think what's interesting about that bracket, though, is what's shaking out to be the 4-5 game, which would the winner would eventually play BYU, and with New Mexico in that five seed, be pretty exciting. Can't finish there, and Drew Gordon has rebound number six. Gary for three, yes. Who did that? Yeah, that's a my goodness for sure. Gordon, 12 points, 10 rebounds a game. There's Darius Gary working inside, and in. Little like. And now New Mexico has their small team in four perimeter players that all can shoot the ball, and Drew Gordon is the only big guy. And Gary takes it right inside. Great finish right. 150 to go. First half here. At TCU on senior night. Gordon was open, cutting to the basket, but Gary did not see him. There he is again, but McDonald has it on the outside. Now Gary for three and in. He's had a pretty good year, and he's yeah. only averaged four points a game last year, and he, so he stepped it up in his sophomore year. Yeah, no question about it. I'm surprised Kirk didn't shoot that one. He's a very good three-point shooter for a big guy. Gary in the lane and hits it. So, the reason... The have won six of their last eight. And we are ready to go. The pit at a fever pitch. And the tap controlled by the Lobos in the white. Dark uniforms for the Rebels. And you're going to see a whole lot of pressure because that's what UNLV does, and that's what they do as well as anybody in the country. Right away, Gary. And he's a very inconsistent three-point shooter, but he knocked that one out. You know what? It's like anything else. If you take good ones, you're going to make a bigger percentage. They've taken two very good open threes right now, UNLV. Knocked them both down. Well, the issue for the Rebels the last two games, they've gotten good looks, just not been able to make the shots. Held to 22 points in the first half, both against Air Force and Colorado State. The last time out, we saw with a good-looking fadeaway jumper, and we're tied up at eight. Last year, Willis had a number of games over 30 points. He was a prolific scorer. That, his legs looked good that last one. Rebound by Gordon. Gary 
tried the knife in. Does layup go? That was a great move right there. It looked like he was. Diego State in the NCAA pecking order right now in the conference. And I think UNLV is in. I think they're in great shape right now. They've got a good strength to schedule. They've beaten some very good teams, Wisconsin and Kansas State being two of them. I think UNLV is in good shape right now. Snell leaves it on the wing for Williams. And now Snell gets it again near side. Cameron Bearsko in for the Lobos. Gary decides to take it himself, number five. But sat for a while in the first half with two fouls, picking up right where he left off when he left the floor. And a nice screen there by Quinchell Thomas on the baseline, and it was a big to small screen, so they couldn't switch it, and Trayvon Willis ends up open for the 10-footer. How about Willis is pitching a perfect game right now, Steve? Six of six shooting, including three threes. At the other end, field, tough shot, Gordon there to clean up. Gary all the way for two. Neil Gordon. Williams will slow it down for the moment. Three ball. Gary got it. Willis open lately. And he's been stuck on 25 in the point category for a while. New season high for him. Snell. Almost had it taken away by Willis. Gary wants to attack. Lays it up and one. Stand back, who's been out since about the 10 minute mark of the second half for UNLV. Tap controlled by the Lobo. They've had Kendall Williams handling the ball a lot and getting it to Gary as a two guard. And Gary. San Diego State coming off the bench. Uh, New Mexico's been playing a lot of four guards. One, one in and four out uh, in the conference season. And Steve Offer feels like that. Wow. Nice deep three by Darius Gary. Offer feels like that gives him better outside. <laughs> Tony Snell, the three. Nope. Drew Gordon, rebound number 13. Gary's triple. Yes. Rattles home for the senior. But boy, they're getting a lot of open looks at threes with great ball movement. A good transition that that time by the University of Utah. They got back. Darius Gary connects. And basketball. And, you know, I think he trusts all these guys. He trusts Snell on the wing. He trusts Williams. He trusts McDonald. But they'll, they'll get the ball in Darius Gary's hands and let him make a play. Darius Gary with the basketball guarded by Glover. Shot clock at 12. Gary's going to drive in traffic past it. But he has a lot of contact there. Watkins has got 13. New Mexico very patient with the basketball right now. Doris Gary uses the screen. Tough fadeaway, high arc, swish, Darius Gary. Extending full court, trying to wear out Darius Gary. When they put Billy White on the front of the press, it's a much more aggressive press. Notice on the side pick and roll how San Diego Strait tries to push that to the baseline. They call it a black. They're going to push it to the baseline on the side pick and roll, get over the top of the pick and roll up high. There's Gary drives hard on DJ Gay and late. Short on the clock now. Gary had to hustle it. Good job with the press by the Aztecs that time. It was the biggest lead. The hardest worker on this team. Borrows basketballs before they lock him up at night so he can come in in the mornings and shoot. 29 NBA scouts in the building tonight. A lot of them with their eyes on the sophomore Kawhi Leonard. Jerez. See, the defense moves on the air time of the ball. Now the ball here. Chad Adams and Gary. Gary hard to the rack. The finish. Always does. Now 
Philip McDonald going over the top of Leonard for the steal. Pushes it ahead to Gary, who knows just what to do with it. And that time, Gary. Two more. The show's hopping, and the lead is back to six. The answer to Gary, and a quick. by Gary and he lays it in and that is third Brooks couldn't convert that time a real mismatch in post he had Jamal Fenton on him went a little bit too quick he should have really taken his time and just powered it over Fenton he really gives away size terrific body control by Durant. they have got to get back and defend in your building you don't want the visitor to come in and get easy buckets on the other end. Barry got inside. Stupid! And one! Snell looking. And then Williams streaking right side but couldn't get the ball over. I don't think Snell saw. Gary dribbles right down the middle. Foul Dave, or a travel? That's right. Dave, exactly. I would agree with that. Dave Rose is saying the same thing. That's why I was surprised. I'm not sure where that hell yeah. ball came from. <laughs> well, it's been New Mexico getting. And of course, remember, BYU is number one in the country in the RPI ranking today. So you can imagine what this win would mean for a New Mexico team that's had its heart broken this year in some crucial last second losses. San Diego State, by the way, is still three in RPI. The Mountain West Conference is fourth in the country in RPI. Ahead of three power leagues. Gary. Darice Gary. Williams. Spinning his way to the hoop behind the back door. Gary with the rebound and puts it in. We'll pick up the foul. That's the third team foul on UNLV. Here's Gary quickly on the inbound. A runner off the glass is good. Strong rebound. The more you watch Drew Gordon underneath, the more you wonder, when's he going to have that really, really big game in terms of rebounds? I mean, he's had a lot of double-figure games, but he looks like he could have a monster time at New Mexico pulling down boards. Now, great move by Therese Gary. Last year, losing in the first round of Northern Iowa. This ball picked up by Gary. Gary to the basket. He is fouled of the basket. Counts with a possible advantage there. But three, got to get some wins. Willis missed on the three. Another rebound for Drew Gordon. He's the 11th. Therese Gary, the basket and the foul. His first block of the game. What a rebound by Stanback. Can't get the shot to go. And on the run, Gary to Fenton. Give and go. It'll go. What a He'll take a three. No. So four or five now. 
for the hometown Utes. Gary straight to the rack, and he will. Therese Gary. Bucket will count as it was was for McDonald because after Washburn's little hook shot last time down, the momentum was starting to shift in a hurry. And a steal, and the finish at the other end for Jerese. Last year it was Roman Martinez, a great leader on this team, to put his arm around him and help guys out. Drew Gordon is an upperclassman, but he's, he's a new guy. Team's still gelling here. And Gary strong to the hole. Jumper, even though it wasn't a three, it's a good start, especially on the road. I never get to call a college basketball game standing. This is unique. <laughs> We're going to have to do this for a while, though. <laughs> Therese Gary catches the three. Bearstow from Brisbane, Australia in the game. So Steve Offer also trying to get to his bench a little bit early. There's Gary off the ball screen. Seven. Step out. Sees the defender, so Leonard takes it in. Now New Mexico looking to run. But San Diego State does get back. They don't stop the ball, though. And they didn't stop the ball, and Therese Gary saw that. The one thing. Gay with 23 points. He's had two consecutive years of monster games on this court. Gary hits a three. That's a big six on Six on other teams' home floor. Is that incredible? Yes. One measure between these two teams is Gary hits a three. So Gary, the senior that never leaves the floor, has got the ball in his hand the whole time. Gary hits another three. And Steve Alford has Sands here. Washington dressed in purple, New Mexico in white. AJ Hardiman wins the tip. Phil McDonald controls and we're underway from Northern California. Interesting point guard matchup. Isaiah Thomas small and quick. Darius Gary thick and strong. Washington defeated the Big East by Tech Golden Eagles Thursday. Sanzier. Washington dressed in purple, New Mexico in white. AJ Hardiman wins the tip. Phil McDonald controls and we're underway from Northern California. Interesting point guard matchup. Isaiah Thomas small and quick. Darius Gary thick and strong. Washington defeated the Big East by Tech Golden Eagles Thursday. We have vision or what? So tall he can see over most defenders at 6'9". Indeed. So five minutes gone by. Mexico holding and a two-point lead. Here's Hobson acting as a point forward early in this game. They spread the floor. All five guys outside the three-point line. Shot clock at seven. Here's McDonald. Therese Gary against Benoit Overton slipping underneath the defense. It's a four-point the pit in Albuquerque it is a extremely tough place to play and it is also a high altitude place the one time we were playing there there's a big sign as we have the visitors locker room 3,000 feet whatever it is my guys asked me about it I said that's just outside <laughs> anything to play the mind game for those <laughs> visiting teams <laughs> Rock continues to run five seconds to shoot here's the Reese Gary spins inside what a move to the bucket Finishes with a left hand. Sparadidas, Bob Wenzel, our entire CBS crew from San Jose. With Mexico dealing with some adversity now, down 10. Have been outscored 12 to 2 over the past couple of minutes. If I'm Jerese Gary, I'm taking Isaiah Thomas to the hole. And here is Gary right on cue. Makes this an eight point. Isaiah Thomas now can move over to the two-guard spot. He does not have to guard Gary. That's a good thing because Gary can get him his third foul because he's so good at taking it to the basket. Marco Lobo's shot has gone away here, shooting just under 30%. There's Gary a little leaner with his left hand. Tough shot. They can fill the lanes big time. Ten points for Quincy Pondexter. Gary forcing his way to the cup will have a chance at a three. Suddenly has ballooned to a 14-point lead for the Huskies. It's one thing if the Lobos Thursday night slow start. They were able to come back against Montana, but a different type of challenge here against this red-hot Huskies team. That was a slow-paced game. This is a fast-paced game. 
continues to run. 13 to shoot. Here's Gary. Again, gets to the rim. Gary banged up, lands awkwardly on his side. When they won the Pac-10, it was elation city for them. And boy, they have gone on, and they are playing with reckless abandon. If one, three, one zone. If you've just joined us, this game was tied at 19. Since that point, New Mexico has been outscored 25-11. Final 15 seconds. The Lobos desperate for some points here before halftime. This is Doris Gary. Seven seconds. Gary against Overton. Banks it home. One second. They did it back in mid-December against Creighton. Three times under Steve Alford. New Mexico has come back from 15 down or more. And it's the only gonna, time they did it this season. If they're going to do it, they're going to need to get three-point shooting going. And the guys who can do that are on the floor right now. Martinez in the right corner and McDonald in the left corner. Gary trying to lob it inside. It's deflected back to the point guard. Inside, banks it home. He a bit of that one on the way down. I'm going to have to relace those Air Jordans. Looking very sleek in those black sneakers. Nice drive and finish by DeRiz. Online for free. Watch any game from the tournament live at NCAA.com. Here in San Jose, Spiro Jesus, Bob Wenzel, the Reese Gowie on the triple drive. Gets to the basket. Rebounded by Dakota. Here come the Lobos in the open floor. That's Jamal Fenton. Offensive rebound, Gary. And he's got 24. Inbounder is Michael Taylor. Intercepted by Martinez. Lead pass for Gary. Open real estate. And the next He's given his Montana Grizzlies a four-point lead. As we approach five minutes left in his first half. But Gary forcing his way down the paint. Grizzlies just keep on coming. 46% is Ryan from three-point range on the year. And of course, he's been around forever. A senior. Nice, nice looking shot. So Reese Gary. Taking contact from the three. And this is a four point game. Sorry, the true freshman born in Oakland. Far from his hometown. Gary turning the corner. What a finish at the basket. Davis. Well, he can't shoot. He, he's the one guy they have out there with DJ Gay that can make a shot on a regular basis. So now they're making him pay all over the place. They're a 31% three-point shooting team on this. Billy White converts them both. Here's a little bit of pressure. Little token thing. Give him a little bit up front and then back off a little bit. But they're sticking with this man-to-man. -man. I don't blame him. Doris Gary, three ball. It spins into the lane. Lost it once. Hobson gets it back. Gary. Coming for Doris Gary. Doris Gary. I'm doing everything that I can to make sure that San Diego State does not get another shot. So running all the way down and take a shot with four seconds to go. There should not be enough time for San Diego State to get a shot. They're going to show a double on Gary. Gary gets it past the timeline. They're chasing him. Thomas and Gay, and now Malcolm Thomas retreats. Doris Gary working on White now. Shot clock at five. Spins his way free and gets the roll. The first lead of the night for the Lobos comes on a direct. With upsets in their conference championship games. Stole bids. Arizona got in as the last at large. The Aztecs were left on the couch to watch. Here's the player of the year, Darrington Hobson. To Gary. It's a three and it goes. His top and doesn't get a lot of credit for that. And, and we mentioned about his big shot ability. All that's fine and dandy, but when the governor declares basket and the foul and the injury is a little back door and Tom Foul had to swat it off the glass. There we go. Gary, yes, with the left hand. Pepsi okay. gets to foul. Loose ball. Gary's got it. And Gary will push and take it himself. Well, he's fun to watch. Boyard's shot was tapped away. Hardiman with his first block of the night. Nothing new there. He does it a lot. Into the paint. There goes Hobson. Martinez kicks out from the baseline. And 
New Mexico resets. Now Gary gets a screen to the cup. Count that back basket and a foul. For There's the basketball pretty well too. Ranked fifth in assists per game amongst all D1 players. Notice Hobson and the post. If he's not advancing the ball on the push, lots of times you're going to see him down there in the post. He's very effective. This is that zone defense that TCU has done pretty well with. They may go to that later. There's a basket by Jarese Gitlock. Was it about five seconds? When Brown has to guard somebody quick out there at 25 feet, he's a duck out of water. And Gary goes strong, and he'll get that hoop. His 12th double-double of the season and 7th in his last 8 games. There's a steal. And defense to offense to the rim and a goal 10. Oh boy, that was close. BYU, New Mexico's gotten back. They've done a good job in transition. But so many weapons offensively for both of these basketball teams. Luis Gary gets the first New Mexico hoop. And Gary did a tremendous job of that. But that finds Davies open. Pause. Now three out of four from out there. Quickly running are the Lobos. Darius Gary for two. And what a great job. He got the ball. For that, his 14s pull up. That was about a 13 and a half, though. <laughs> Fenton slides it along the baseline to Gary. Pressure defense on the perimeter for BYU is good. Steve Alford today told this team, this Lobo team, penetrate, penetrate, penetrate. Don't settle for jump shots. Attack this defense. And there goes Gary to the basket. He gets the roll. So following his coach's instructions, driving to the hoop and scoring. If New Mexico wins, they'll lock up the number one seed at the upcoming conference tournament. It does not, however, guarantee him an outright conference regular season title. And there's so much nationally on the line here in terms of seedings for the NCAA tournament. Therese Gary again lays it in for two. Gary had his career high. One, meaning one shot. Shot clock is dead. Under 15 seconds to go on the half. And for New Mexico, they have been unbeatable when they lead at halftime. 21-0 this year, and Gary in the double figures for the 19th time this year. He's got 11. Working against Hardeman, and a strong move to the hoop. Bounces out, and a rebound. Darrington Hobson. Here's Gary to the basket. He's got 13. Leading scorer in the game now, Darius Gary. Two-point lead for BYU. comes back in a zone now, Tim. That should cut down some penetration. New Mexico would like to be able to hit some outside shots against this zone. Roman Martinez kicks it back outside. Therese Gary knocks down the three. And the Lobos in front by a point. 56 getting by Air Force. Colorado State, as you mentioned, Blaine, very good here at home. Hardeman wins the opening tip. Lobo ball. Here's Therese Gary. And you sense a little bit of energy inside the arena tonight. And the point you had made, when you're number 10 in the country, now you're going to get everybody's best shot. Gary, long range. Good start for New Mexico. Enough to be gained with 13. 36 to go in the first half. Chad Adams, freshman who got some nice minutes in the game against Air Force. Local product from Albuquerque in for the Lobos. Gary, guarded by Green, back up top, Garth. Hobson. Gary, strong to the hoop, and powers past Green, and there's some of the strength. Qualify for a six-foot shot, but he gave up a great shot for an even higher percentage shot, the slam from Ogaday. The Rams are in the lead. Three scary. Quickly answers New Mexico on iron. Nigon tips one to himself and then fires up another one. Gary grabs the rebound. Brown to his left. Gary with the crossover in the lay in. <laughs> that was fouls. Defends Ogaday well and slaps the rebound. 
Gary for an open yeah. three. Even once again, in. Horn on, no, one and out. Hobson with the board, he'll run. Gary to the hoop for the finish, and one. And the play underneath to keep the ball alive. Talked so much about Hobson, points, rebounds, assists, and Hobson maybe the biggest play of the night on that tip. That was marvelous. And in the first half, it was Colorado State getting all the second, you know, second opportunities on loose balls. In this half, New Mexico has definitely been up to the task. Gary drives, scoop shot goes for Darius Gary. It's an Apple MacBook. For more information, visit us at the mountain.tv. That's the MTN.tv. And that's another Lobo coming into this game. So he can certainly do it. Now tonight, he's missed his only two attempts. He doesn't have to. He's such a great penetrator and a creator. He doesn't have to shoot the downtown shot very often. Working against the 2-3 zone for Wyoming. New Mexico looking for its 10th straight win and trying to go to 24-3 for only the second time since 1978. Gary. Good mid-range jump from point guard Gary. McDonald had a great really, really nasty two opponents. Well, what, what he's got going for him, though he doesn't average a lot of uh, uh, points, only a little bit over five, he can score the ball. He's got a go-to move over each shoulder, which a lot of young big guys don't. Gary for three, got it. Led the team in field goal attempts, which you won't see that happen very often with a freshman. They're a little bit shy. This kid has never been shy about pitching it up there to the rim. Lobo lead is now six as we near one minute to play here in the Huntsman Center in Salt Lake. Number 15 team in the nation, these New Mexico Lobos coming off their fifth top 25 win against UNLV in Vegas and Doris Gary court game uh, Lobos would like to get out and really make it an up and down the court game like this here they come on the attack Doris Gary all the way to the basket what a great it goes down hooks it in and we're knotted at 45 See the big center's not coming out of the paint there, either Foster or Washburn. Hobson's line, by the way, six points with the nine assists that you mentioned and eight rebounds for the guy who leads this Lobo team in all three categories. How about Darius Gary, James? No turnovers, four assists, and 11 points. And right on cue, there he is. 14-footer. And his own rebound in the follow. Doris Gary in three. Virtue got his guy leaning into that ball screen a little bit in anticipation. Took him away from it and rhythm up to a nice mid-range jump shot. Doris Gary has just taken over. To start this game with the fireworks and one of the best intros in all of college basketball, but a Lobo surge quickly put the fans in their seats. Well, they're a very good offensive team, which is showing against a team that really plays good defense like UNLV. But the bottom line is UNLV needs to force misses so they can get this game speeded up and play the style that they want. Right now, they can't do it. Tough shot for Darius Gary. Big in the clock. Those are tough shots. Tough matchup now. Deflection. Deflection to lead to what? Interception and a fast break. Gary hits the accelerator and lays it in. Knocks down the first one from long range in the second half. Five point game. What we say about memos? Hobson didn't get the Tapley memo. He can make it just like your partner on your team, McDonald, does. Gary off the screen from Hardeman. Gary's jumper is good. It's Lefty tries to go back right, loses the basketball. Stolen away by Gary. In the open floor, Darius Gary has his first field goal. I don't know what Rodney Moss It'll be Notre Dame playing host to UNO. McDonald with the long rebound. He finds Gary cutting behind the defense, and Darius Gary has six now after 25-point performance 
against BYU. Ari in, he's guarding Martinez now. And there's Brown with a fade away. Bad shot. Yeah. That's a force right there, but Gary with the rebound. Put back. Basket on the foul. No good. Gary kind of slipped a little bit and still gets it to go. And bottom line is he has to let the game come to himself a little bit more, not force the action. Gary got extended rest there. Coach Alford, his confidence growing in Nate Garth, which enables Gary to play a few less minutes and keep him fresh. And Dave Rose with a steady diet of zone right now. As we all know, against the zone, there are no defensive rebound responsibilities. You have a better chance of offensive rebound. Gary connects. Step slow, but two steps smart. Jimmer for dead at the head of the list. We expected a high-scoring game. Neither team shooting the ball particularly well. BYU 8 for 25, and New Mexico 10 for 32. Gary splits the defense and gets the two. Wow. He's about collapsing on Fredette, and they forget to block out, and that leaves the score for Hartsock. A two-point game as we near the five-minute mark. Set. Ten on the shot clock. Here comes the high flat ball screen. Gary to the rim. Easy two. For New Mexico. 95 seconds and counting. Gary. Finger roll. 